It is a Thursday game day on Barn Burner. What would our um, happy slim friend say, Brett? Get your helmets on. That's right. Let's go. A huge one tonight is the Calgary Flames with a victory. Um, well, with a lot. There's there's eight games left, right? Eight left. There are eight left. <laughs> with please. a win or loss, they'll have seven left. Please, hockey gods, deliver us to the end of the hockey season with things to talk about and a higher draft pick. Please, 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 please. Uh, you, when I think about it, I thought about this last night. There would probably not have been a lot of lost years where you went down the stretch with 10 games to go with nothing to play for. I don't recall a lot of your Buffalo years, but you had Hasek. Florida, you went to the cup final your first full year there. And the team, since you got to Calgary, made the playoffs and was in every year. Do you remember years where you had to play out the string at all? One year, uh, my last year in Florida. Well, but that doesn't count. We missed the playoffs my third year in Florida. Yeah, it was my third year in Florida. That that was the year. And we lost 13 in a row. And oh. by January, it was like, Oof, this is going to be painful. And it was. Yeah. And we finally got there. But yeah. I, I still say, and I've said it lots lately, I, th I think that's easier in a way than losing out like the Flames have with mm -hmm. a month to go, right? Like you were clearly yeah. done and you were going to have to find a way to finish the last 35 games. These guys stayed in it too long and then it falls mm -hmm. off and it's hard to rebalance because you look at it and you go, I got like eight games, I just have to survive. So, Yeah, I'm with you. I think like when you look at Chicago and Anaheim, they're not beaten down and upset they, they've been under the understanding that they're out of it since december and it's like all right guys tend to go yeah. let's go ruin someone else's season like yeah, that's the whole go. embrace the underdog thing the flames feel like they're still in in licking their wounds phase of it where you know february 10th i think the graphic was on the game the other night they were one point out of a playoff spot um that wasn't that long ago and yet a lot's happened since then you remove a second pair uh, delete them you you know, there's been some injuries. There's a much different looking blue line, and and the results have not been very good. It's it's understandably when you have two to three NHL defensemen, things are a lot harder out there. Yeah, well, you <laughs> and it's we've said it lots too. Or we suspected all those guys were going to get moved. They they did, mm -hmm. uh, which you want. And you've had epic seasons from Uyghur, uh even Kadri bounced back. Coleman's career is yeah. great. Markstrom's been awesome. And you trade those guys and you fall out of it. You still were not in a playoff spot, even when you had all those guys yeah. playing quite well. It's, so speaks to how hard it is and maybe that there's still a lot of retooling that needs to be done. Yeah, the conversation that I, I had a lot in, I guess, Feb, March was like, people would be like, look, they're not that far out. Why don't, like, why don't, aren't you guys talking about a playoff push? And it's like, if you are getting Vesna goaltending and you're still on the outside looking in, you're a long way away because goaltending can mask a lot of shit. But the way that Markstrom played basically from, I want to say about game 10 of the year through the deadline uh, was... That, that, that's, that probably threw an extra 10 to 15 points on the pile. And yeah, you can lament other things that didn't go perfectly, but if there's one thing that can ruin a season or save a season, it's net mining. Look at the Panthers in the playoffs last year. Look at the Panthers in the regular season last year. Look at the Flames in the regular season last year. A better team with shitty goaltending. And look at them this year. A lesser team that you know hung around a long time because they were getting saves. It, to me, if you're getting Vesna goaltending and you're not in the mix, you ain't close. No, exactly, and that's what uh, Flames got Vesna goaltending with Kiprasov and never went anywhere. Uh, it, it was just covering up warts. We all know that yeah. looking back now it's easy to see. At the time, you're stuck in it. You're like, oh, yeah, we got a chance. We got Kipper, and we're making the playoffs. Uh, you need a lot more. And, it's, and I, in a way, I think it's made it easier and more clear for Conroy. So Agreed. I, I'm hoping long-term that it's been a benefit. Uh, okay, we'll get to tonight's game in a bit, but we can't go any further without getting back to Now, we, I was bugging Boomer about this yesterday. Uh, banger or not a banger, the Devils at the Rangers. And you're like, well, the Devils are kind of out of it, and it's they're hovering around 500. Rangers are trying to chase down first. It's good rivalry. 
And then it was like light bulb on. Ding, hang on. Last time these two clubs played, Rempe was ejected. He wouldn't fight Curtis McDermott, who they traded for because he ran over Nathan Bastion earlier. And it was like, oh, this is a firm banger. No question about it. Uh, it didn't take long last night on Broadway. And look, if you ever get to one of these games, I would suggest you get your ass in your seat for puck drop. Here we go. Altercation. So uh, you think, hey? Yeah. Yeah. And banger, indeed, it was. Uh, that was two seconds in. They, they, I don't know when they decided to blow the whistle. I mean, we knew it, it was before anything happened. They dropped the puck and they went. Um, it was funny. Yesterday, we recorded Department of Discipline with Jay Rosa, and we had Darcy Hordichuk on. And Hordy had just chatted with Rempe in Arizona. I think he was a scratch down in the desert. And the, there was a photo of him sort of like engaging and showing how you could, you know, Rempe, you got to use that reach a little more. He talked about the interaction and, uh, look, I don't know what the future holds for the kid. He can move really well for a man of his size. He's huge. He's taken a lot of fights, but it's also like you got to make a splash when you get into the league. But it's something the league's missed for a bit, and I don't know that everyone's going to go out and find him at Rempe. I don't think there's 32 of them. But it, it's it's an element from the sport that was so prominent 15, 20 years ago that's almost gone now, and it's kind of refreshing to see a bit of it. We don't want to get back to the – Every team has a guy that can't skate and stage fights off the draws, but that's fun. I, well, it, I think it does go in cycles, and I think the cycle that we'd like to see is back to uh, not Broad Street Bullies, maybe where it was fighting or it was too many fights, but yeah. where guys are fighting because they're mad and they're fighting against guys that could still play, and they're yes. fighting because they're emotional. And they're like, screw you. I'm going to get you. I don't mind those. It's, now. We're hypocritical. We keep saying it. I don't want anyone getting injured. And your chance of getting injured probably goes up if you're scrapping. And long term, you think about the implications of a kid like Rempe having to go scrap at Madison Square yeah. Garden, not having an option to kind of say no. His coach starts him. Like, he can't say no. There's an emotional toll that it takes on you. But you got to ask the kid. Yeah. Right? In the like, 80s, you might say, oh, this coach told me to fight, and I didn't know about head injuries. Matt Rempe is going in eyes open. He understands yeah. the risks involved. Uh, he's not being asked to scrap by their head coach, and he also probably doesn't mind being a rock star in New York City yeah. that working guy on goes, Broadway at the age of 21. I yeah. think if he says uh, door A or door B, he's picking the I might scrap 10 times in the NHL in the second half of the year and become a star in New York. I, I think he understands it. You know, there, there's risk involved with that, but he's willing to take it. Where, what door's not open to that guy last night in New York City? You kidding he's me? A, he's a, right? He's a star. He's a bleeping star. He's he may as well be the quarterback of the Giants or Jets, but fuck them because they suck anyway. You're yeah, Matt Rempe. Exactly. He would be <laughs> a bigger deal. He would get hugely supported. And I don't want him to struggle with post-career, but you're right. I talked to lots of guys that played his role in – most of them, 99.9% of them would say, I wouldn't have changed it. I yeah. know. I got to yeah. do it. That's what I got to do to be stick around. So, Yeah, it's a contact sport. Uh, you could talk about removing fighting, but it's still not going to remove head injuries. There, there's significant risk, um, you know, if we see it with football players. But it, it, unless we're making it a not contact sport, the, the risk is not zero. And if You're Matt Rempe wants to trade a little more risk for stardom in New York, I understand it because I'd do the same thing. Yeah. I'm not six seven. I can't fight, and I'm a coward. <laughs> but otherwise, very similar decision tree. Aside from that, yeah, those three was, things. So I not big enough, through. not good at fighting, and a coward. But if those things weren't there, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that much I'm missing. All right, I have two hands. He has two hands. What's uh, funny too? Is I can that... wear a blue jersey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what's funny. Is like. It's not funny, but it, he's a star. He's a star because he scrapped, and he's in New York City. Like yes, that's across. You're huge everywhere. Like start an Instagram account and follow it up. It could be like, who knows where it goes? Yeah, he's a rock star, and you yes. know what? He, he's not one dimensional in the sense that yes, he's big and he can scrap, but he's impacted games with his shoulders and his legs. He can really move for someone that's six wow. seven. Like that and game I against Toronto before he fought Reeves. He hammers Ilya Labushkin, done for the game. You're like, that's in the seven-game series. That's a weapon you can release. 100%. And I think 
I think he's going about it a decent way. I think having some scraps is good. Eventually, if he's able to keep it up, you become you get to a point where you could do it or not. Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah. Sometime, but yeah, every time someone comes knocking, you can go, eh, no, I'm, I'm above. I don't have to do this because I'm going to go out here and play, and I'm going to yeah. run that guy. And there's nothing you can do about it. And if I decide to fight, it'll be on my terms when I want to. A hundred percent. Here come looking for it. Hordachuk talked about that yesterday, and that show, Jack, that'll drop tomorrow, I believe, that episode of Department of Discipline um, with uh, Darcy Hordachuk, who's an absolute beauty we've had on this show, is uh, close to the mayor of Scottsdale, it feels like. The guy's an absolute beauty. Yeah. But he said, look, you got to go in and make a name for yourself early, but once you're the big dog, you got to start messing with people's heads. Don't fight on their terms. Say, you know what? We're down one. I'm going at you now. Piss off their star players, you know, lean into guys that don't like fighting, make the other team react to you, but don't you, anything, someone ask you, no, like my terms, buddy. Like, and, and that's part of the evolution of becoming one of these feared players is establish yourself. Then you can start dictating the terms of it and start messing with people's heads. Cause a lot of it's right in here. Right. And yeah. And I think that's part of the, not key, you know, the keys to it all are, but that's the difference between now and back then. Yeah. Back then, you had no choice. You fought. Like yeah. Probert didn't turn down many scraps. Domi didn't turn down many scraps. Rob Ray didn't turn down many scraps. Mm -hmm. It was like, I'm going to fight. Paul Loss fought 30 some times oh, my first year in Florida. His head, that's like, insane. Right? Yeah. Like, I'm not talking about that. You're not talking about that. You get eight to 10 scraps a year and make them good and make them. You're leading the league if you get to that yeah. number. Yeah. Yes. Like, like that's, that's, it's just not what it was. And you know, that doesn't mean there's no risk, but I, I, I certainly as, as someone that says I'm being hypocritical, I worry about head injuries for players, but I also like watching a fight. I, I think that an NHL leader at eight to 10 fights is healthier than 38. Well, it has to be. It has yeah. to be. Like there's no question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Look, we can't all be stars on Broadway, but you can win a million bucks. We'll tell you how. It's the Service Credit Union Big Share, sixth year. It's back. It's your chance to win a million bucks just by saving money. Yeah, it's true. Hang on. Anyone can enter. We'll explain. It's going to make sense. Become a member and start saving with service. Every $500 you move over into your service account, we'll give you five entries into the service big share contest. Uh, you can save in a daily banking account, fast track your savings in a high yield savings account, invest in a GIC, TFSA, RRSP. You can transfer your existing savings to service for your chances, plural, to win a million bucks. End of the month is the end of the contest. That's April 30th. And there is a skill test required for more information, rules, and regulations. Visit service.ca slash win. I mean, if you can't be star on Broadway, it'd be nice to have a million bucks and uh, be in Florida. Well, we win the million bucks and go watch Rempe and Broadway. <laughs> and you know what? I'm sick of these damn airport security lines. I'm going to charter my own PJ. <laughs> Uh, where did that million dollars go? Uh, sir, Shit. you took 26 PJ rides in a month. I was, I, I security. I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> uh, sir, you're not do? a millionaire anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you want with the money. Uh, how's Florida? How's the family? What's going on? I know you're, um, you're very scholastic and you're a, a massive proponent of education. How much school are the kids missing? I know that's probably the, you're losing sleep over it. Well, actually, I think it's spring break. Well, it's sadly, as a I father, think. I should. I should probably know that, but yeah, not a lot of math being done here in Florida. Fatigue is setting up or starting to set in. Really? They woke up and started punching each other this morning. So that was fun. It was good. So that's fatigue. Yeah. You, you can just tell that edge. There's not a lot mm. of laughter. If someone pokes the other guy, Yeah, it's, it's on. It's go time. I noticed in my house and it's twins. So it's a little different because there's just the pecking order has to be reestablished every single day. When someone's bored, they just generally poke the other one. Yeah. So if you don't have an activity, it's pretty much WrestleMania on uh, Mummy's nice furniture on the main floor. Like, get to the, get out of here, go to the basement, you idiots. Yeah, that's no. It's a little grayer today. It would be a perfect day to go fishing because the ocean's fairly calm, but. I don't know. It's kind of nice to be out of the sun and not sweating. And I, I hate to complain about it, but it's, I'm, I'm happy to enjoy a little more cloud cover. Yeah, we, uh, we have snow today, and it's still snowing, and it will continue to snow. And uh, it's snowing. The, the, the snow is sticking to the trees. It is 
Oh, you son of a bitch. You're right there, aren't you? Oh, right there. Oh. Oh. Damn it! It's not snowing here, so I guess. That's... Yeah, well, you're not skiing, I guess, huh? Yeah, you yeah, have to settle for the beach. Okay, I, fine. You I'm do getting, you, Rhett. I'm getting the same sunburn because I got my shades on. <laughs> That's right. You got your snow goggles or whatever. <laughs> you got your big, uh, what are the, the, the pit vipers going? Pit vipers. Oh, the kids yeah. are pumped. They saw some game yesterday where you kind of like that clutch claw thing where they could get pit by oh yeah you gotta put oh, the, the yeah. joke they, dick and they wanted to spend eight hundred dollars trying to get those damn things you're like son you could buy them for 20 on the beach yeah. uh you don't need to pump it into this machine and end up with no sunglasses uh do you have uh, flights back because i know um well uh, let's just say you like to live more spontaneously than uh, the general public we do have flights back but I, I could be convinced there's lots of nice homes down here lovely people food's good <laughs> Another home, eh? That's what you need. I mean, it's not Buffalo. <laughs> what it sure you? isn't, Rhett. <laughs> oh, and yesterday, see this big monster of a man walking the 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 whatever a sidewalk by the beach here. Yeah, boardwalk or whatever. Sure. Yeah, boardwalk. That's what I was looking for. Okay. And he's got the sweatsuit on. What are they? The boxers wear whatever. Like a jumpsuit over. Yeah. yeah. Like the ones Steroids. that. That no, that does, they make you sweat like it's to drop weight. Oh shit, cutting weight. Okay, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. And then people are like, oh, "Can I get a picture?" I'm like, "Who is that guy?" Yeah. Well, Dion Dawkins from the Bills. No way. He's sweating a few pounds off. That a boy, D. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Walking in the heat with one of those. Well, I don't even know what they call them anymore. But so you don't have bags. to put the garbage bags on and get the stationary bike into the sauna like Chelios would. Yeah, that's you no. Know, that was Big Dion. He was out there getting ready for the season. So good on him. All right. Uh, so what? What are we looking at? A weekend? A week? Ten no. days? Saturday? Or? I was gonna go back and watch my nephew play in trail there in the playoffs at BCHL BC, playoffs you know. there this weekend. Uh, yeah. Exciting. Yeah. But uh, I don't have a ride, and I don't want to fly into trail because it's a pain in the ass. So I think it's back to Buffalo Saturday. Yeah. Geek out on Monday with the uh, oh the eclipse the eclipse thing yes and then uh, find the next flight out of town I got to get out of that place so are you right oh really wow okay that's a development Jack write that down uh you're right in the dark band because there is a strip across North America I'm gonna see if I can find this for Jack that shows where the full eclipse is and if you're not on that the further away you get from that diagonal strip across North America the the more mad the eclipse is. You guys are right in the thick of it or close? Right in the thick of it. Right Much in. like you were talking about Erie uh, yesterday, and they can't get hotel rooms. I would bet you'd have a hard time finding a hotel room in Buffalo right now. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. Okay, I'm going to find this graphic. Um, that's a link. I don't need that. This is exactly what you want to do is scroll your phone while you're doing a show. Uh, Jets tonight, <laughs> Monaghan and, to, and Toffoli back. Uh, how much money do you have down on, on Betway for both those cats to score? Oh, can you, you got to you gotta combine those two both to <laughs> score. Parlay, you're going to make big dough, and it's almost guaranteed. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, I found one image. That's good. Yeah, we'll wait for Jack to upload that one, and then uh, another one looked good, too. You're still doing the Eclipse thing, right? Well, I just think it's like, it, it, I, until I saw the image, I really didn't understand exactly what. Uh, well, we got meant those by this. everywhere you go down there. Not everywhere. As soon as people hear eclipse glasses, apparently they go line up for the damn things. So, really? Anyway, so we got a couple pairs of them, and I put them on at the house the other day, and I'm yelling at the shoveler. I said, "These things are sh just terrible. I can't see shit." She's yeah, like, "Go look at the sun, you idiot." That's the point. So I right go look now. at the sun, and I'm like, "Oh." Okay, I get it now. You could look right at the sun. Okay. <laughs> I think it was early in, in Trump's uh, presidency. There was like an eclipse or something, and it was like all we heard was like two weeks of like, don't look directly at the sun. And he comes out there, he's like, de, 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 de. like no sunglasses. <laughs> You're like, this guy's doing it his own way. This is, <laughs> he ain't following anyone's rules. Uh, okay, so on vacation, what's the sleeping arrangements? Are, are you two, uh, two Queens and five people? You got multiple two rooms. Queens and a king. We got two bedrooms. Oh We're baby. Nice little setup. We don't mess around. I don't like being crowded. So you don't Lots. need the, uh, the hostile vibes now that you're, you know, no. family. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. No good. The, 
So it would be you in one room and then Shoveler and the boys in the others yeah. so that uh, the rest your, of them could, your snoring doesn't wake them up, right? The rest of them can do what they want. And actually, <laughs> the the oldest had the sniffles the first day he was here. I, oh. I almost went and bought himself his own room again because I hate colds. And I'm like, get him away. Yeah, from you me. are. If someone's got oh, a sniffles, I, you're just like, eh, get away. <sighs> yeah. Drives me nuts. Uh, oh. I, I don't know if you know, but I, I went and had uh, a treatment done at Outdoor Dental to get rid of my snoring, or at least to ease my snoring. And unless I have, I think um, I wrote it down, a thousand beers, oh. uh, my snoring is like down to almost zero. And uh, my wife, quite impressed. Outdoor.dental is the website. It is a fully functional, brand new, awesome dental office down by the South Health Campus. But one of the treatments they offer is a snoring treatment. I went in and chatted with Dr. J and uh, yeah, it was 15 minute procedure. They run the Salaya laser. Look at the mop on that caveman. Uh, <laughs> 15 minutes, they run it over your soft palate in the back of your throat and then tightens it up, less flapping, less snoring and a happier life because a happier wife and all that stuff. So uh, definitely check it out, outdoor.dental for more information on that. And I'm not just saying it. I actually am like, babe, I don't really know. They want me to say how it's going. Like, what have you noticed? She's like, you hardly snore anymore at all. It's significantly better. So if you do have uh, dental coverage, most of this procedure is typically covered. Uh, two 50-minute treatments, and away you go. Also, dental implants can be scary, confusing, and expensive. Outdoor Dental uses cutting-edge technology to ensure you're happy, healthy, and feeling confident. All your dentistry needs, not to mention the snoring treatment, outdoor.dental with Dr. J. Patel. Okay, I think we've oh, got our Eclipse don't, graphics, Jack. Oh, Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, don't go to the hack dentists anymore. You don't you go to the high-end stuff there. Yeah, that guy out of the the back of the the woodworking shop with the saw. No, no need. Brand new dental office. Happy people. Oh, here it is. Look at red. So this diagonal line, if you're watching on YouTube, is going over North America. That is the path of total eclipse. Bum bum bum. And so it looks like St. John's. Um, is that Newfoundland? St. John, yeah, New Brunswick, St. John's, know. Newfoundland. Buffalo is in there. Dallas looks like it's in a good setup. Okay. Very good. And then you see in Vancouver, it's going to be very meh. Just a tiny little piece of the sun missing. That's it. Yeah, no, it's going to be big in Buffalo. People are pumped. Huge. Just huge. State of emergency. I think I've said it already on the show. Yeah, that's and that's state. that's nutty to me. And like Eclipse would do that. And, oh, look at this. NASA's weighing in. What up, NASA? You know, in space, NASA does. Uh, and yeah, there it is. We'll pass over northern Mexico all the way through the U.S. to the Maritimes. Can't get a hotel anywhere that's uh, shaded there. Any of those dark spots, you're screwed. (laughs) Wild. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, we talked about it on the show yesterday. Hunter Bristevich plays for the Kitchener Rangers. Their OHL series has literally altered their, if necessary, game six and sevens because you can't get a hotel in Erie. Never mind the traffic. Never mind trying to eat. A city of 100,000 and 200,000 people are supposed to be in Erie. Good luck getting a meal. Never mind a hotel room. Yeah, no, it's going to be a mess. And like you said, I think the traffic, they're saying stay off the roads. Yeah. That's, uh, didn't see that one coming. I probably, uh, it'll be partial while the show's on. Can we get red on the barn burner during the eclipse? You no, know, that's a good question. Do you know what time of day it is and how long it lasts? I think it starts at three. So Eastern. that's one our time. That's a little late. Yeah. Um, we might have to go special show. Late I think show. it's a live stream. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I know you're, you'll be set up there for that and oh, ready to rock. I, yeah. Point that uh, camera right at the sun. <laughs> we'll figure something out. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, now, listen, when you proposed to the shoveler, was it full eclipse? Did it, was it Haley's Comet? What, what were, man, were you on the Everest? Worlds collided. Wor- worlds collided, Ryan. It was worlds colliding. It was where, where did you drop to a knee? Where was it? You could have been some anywhere. Shitty, uh, some dumpy ass. Uh, uh, movie theater that I could rent out private. A truck stop outside of Prince Albert. Jesus, Rhett. Uh, no. Okay, a theater. So this you made a big production of this? People were there? No, nobody else was there. It was, wow. uh, it was a matinee show, and like I said, in a little dive theater downtown Buffalo, and we just huh. traveled the world, and I'd made my own video. So 
Oh, wow. Very oh, my God. No way. See, he's so romantic, Jack. Are you taking notes, Jack? Come on. Come on, Jack. There's only like so, so many years special. of your life you have to be romantic and then you make a mistake or whatever. But like at this point, you should be taking notes from Rhett. That's a honey dripper move right there. It's big time, Jack. It's big time. You can use it if you want. Yeah, he's been taking lots of notes. Okay, so so lay this out for you. You traveled the world during the lockout and then you made a video that you oh, showed travel. her in the movie theater. Yeah. Yeah. We had her own. The, and she didn't know, obviously. It wasn't. It was a surprise that nobody else was in the theater. She was actually quite annoyed. Yeah. She's like, this movie was sucks. Hung. What are we doing well, here? It's because she was hung right over. <laughs> and was mad that we we're going to this movie. She's like, I don't want to see this movie. It was the Russell Crowe. He was boxing. He was. Oh, over. yeah. Do you remember that show? I kind of do. Called? There was a run for Russell Crowe there where he was like the male action flick star. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I want to go see this movie. Oh, oh, do we have to? Yes. <laughs> so, so, Jack, you don't have access necessarily to a, din a dingy movie theater in Buffalo, but you do have Vina Nova here in Calgary. If you're going to make that decision, I'd suggest you head down to Calgary's lab-grown specialists. Uh, it's the only store in Calgary that specializes exclusively in lab-grown diamonds. And so you've got this massive selection of loose lab-grown diamonds, jewelry, and savings from lab-grown diamonds, Jack. Up to 80% for the exact same composition. It's just compressed carbon. Why uh, Why get the, Why go dig them out of the earth the other side of the con? You can make them in a lab right here, just maybe even more imperfections than uh, the earth mined diamonds. Check them out at venanova.com or go see their downtown showroom on the second level of Stephen Avenue Place. And then, uh, you know, you might not have a video done like that, but you can still be a romantic. The asking is the easy part. Go to Vina Nova and get the real shit figured out. Yes, Justin's going to take care of you there. He knows what's up. Uh, so no matter if you're like, I'm an idiot. I don't know anything. He's like, perfect. Sit right here. I'll get you. I'll walk you through this. Way we go. Way we go. Uh, big shout out to Justin and our pals at Vina Nova. Jack. He's just nodding his head. He doesn't want to talk about it. I just realized like, you know, it's a girlfriend. He doesn't know what's saying. That seems pretty yeah, we don't serious. need to. Let's not get in. Are you common law? I can really pry here. We can talk about how long you've lived together. <laughs> oh, we're good. Okay, fine. Fine, Jack. We get our lawyers fine. involved, Jack. What are you doing? All right, there. Uh, we teased a little there. The the Jets not been going great of lately, but a very good season for the Jets. I uh, I think sometimes we over analyze the runs teams are on heading into the playoffs rather than. Oh, yeah, playoffs are a little different. Let's see it go. But the challenge for the Jets is they play in the Central Division, so they've got Dallas and Colorado in there. They will play one of those two in round one. They get the Flames tonight. It is Toffoli. It is Monaghan against their old teams. Uh, Calgary boy, Josh Morrissey. Summers in Calgary for Shifley as well often these days. This is one of the best goalies in the league, and Connor Hellebuck, should he go tonight? If not, it's a Flames drafted player, and Laurent Brassois has been a great backup around the league for a while. Flames should have their hands full here against a Jets club that I think is looking to get right and has been on a tough run. Yeah, this is not going to be a team that comes in and makes it easy on you to play. <laughs> yeah. I got a feeling the Jets are going to play with purpose and some urgency, and, and a month ago, I'd have probably I'd have had a hard time not picking them as one of the top we're one of my favorites to come out of the West. They're pretty damn good. And you don't want the recency bias and maybe falling off and have hitting the skids a bit affects that, but still a tough out, I think, for any team in the league. Yeah, that division's just a murderous row. It's kind of like the Atlantic where you're going to have like a Boston, Florida, Toronto series. Two of those yeah. three teams will play. It's going to be Colorado, Dallas, Winnipeg, two of those three teams playing in round one. And I know people moan about the first round, but. It's just good hockey. You're gonna you're gonna get it in a one through eight either way. There's just ten contenders this year. It feels like there's not two or three heavyweights. Yeah, and I, I think that that the the opinion that you're losing too many good teams in the first round is a, it, it can happen. Yeah, but I just think that so the 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 depth of competition is so good that somebody's got to lose. Like you're, yeah, there's not four bad teams in each conference getting in. They get to get beat up. There's yeah. there might be okay. Let's say Philly or. Pittsburgh or Washington or Detroit, like two of those teams are the Islanders. Two of those teams get in. Okay. Those are two softer matchups. In the West, who do you want to face? Like you got LA in a wild card. They can be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And Nashville's been the, the hottest team in the league since what? The start of March? Like 
what are we talking about here? There's there's no soft touches anywhere. I don't care how you rejig it. One through 16, one through eight, the divisional playoff. Like, good teams are going to play good teams here. Yeah, you have to win against good teams. That's playoff hockey. So I you're, I think out east, you are right. There's probably a couple softer matchups. But you, <laughs> you watch. You're going to pick the first team overall out east, or the Rangers probably right now, and, and – be damned if there's not an upset in that first round. Well, right? and think about it. Last year, the greatest regular season we've seen in our lives was the Boston Bruins. And a team that had one fewer point than the Calgary Flames faced them in round one. <laughs> yeah. how'd, that, how'd that go? It started all right, all right for the, the Bruins. Mm -hmm. And then... 3-1 series lead, and then yeah. even in game seven, but boy, that's nervous. Well, at least you have a lead late. That's no problem. You're inside a minute of moving on. Yeah, hang on. Then that team runs to the finals. Yeah, yeah, crazy. And and look, we all say, oh, no, Florida was different. But it's like, well, they played 82 games and needed Pittsburgh to lose to Chicago just to get in. Like, this That's... wasn't a team of destiny. This was a lot of lucky breaks. And then Bobrovsky, who had been so bad down the stretch, they were starting Alex Bleeping Lion. Yeah, and he played that, so He f suddenly something clicks, <laughs> and he's 950 for a month. Yeah, and Lyon had to play poorly enough that they were going to change the goaltender yes. to get Bobrovsky in, right? Like, if if Lyon plays even better a little bit, they probably don't even go to Bob Bob uh, Bobber. They yeah, get him in yeah. there, right? Like, if yeah. anyway, it's playoff hockey. It's why we love the tournament. Crazy things happen, and a best of seven in this sport is just something special. So we are officially uh, Thursday, two, two weeks, weeks from the finale of the regular season. And that means we're two weeks and two days from playoff hockey. They were going to start on a Monday. I think it was a couple of weeks ago. They said, we're bumping it up to Saturday, which I like. The year the Flames played the Oilers, it was kind of weird. Um, I guess two two summers ago, you're like, oh, you're the top seed. Away you go. And then it was like a Monday, Wednesday. You're like, oh. And then the lower seed gets to go home for two weekend games, like a Thursday, Sunday, or a Saturday. And oh, geez, like that doesn't seem, huh. No. But uh, starting at home, upper seed, weekend, Big matchups round one. I'm jacked about it. And the beauty of uh, what we've got coming up, the it is our second annual. Dean says there's no second annuals. Is it third that it goes to an annual? It's inaugural second annual, is yes. it not? Yeah, I don't know. We need a linguist around here. We need someone that, uh, that has got strong command of the English language. Jack can't read. AI. Uh, AI ask AI, Jack. Could you do that? Uh, it is our playoff draft happening on the 19th of April. It's the perfect day. The regular season ends the night before. The day after, we are off to the races with round one. There's one day window to get your perfectly timed draft, and this is it. It's presented by our good friends at McLeod Law, as well as in support of Kids Sport Calgary. Another couple teams off the board yesterday, Rhett. We're getting into the final few. Talk to your buddies. Get your heads together. Imagine the NHL draft. You're on the floor. You've got your own table. You've got your lanyards. There's eight of you at a table. It is $1,500 for a table. Divide that by eight. You're getting an amazing tax receipt from the good folks at Kidsport Calgary for all the good work they do getting the less fortunate kids into sport, which, of course, we can all get behind. What a great cause that is, the life lessons that sport teach us. And we're going to have a bunch of fun. Uh, we will see who... Uh, earns the right to select first overall. We'll have some picks on the floor, and then Boom and I will be on the mics mocking uh, the selections of people uh, and making them donate to charity when they select players that have already been taken. Defending champs are Village Honda, and if you want to secure your team before they're gone, and I can't emphasize this enough, there are very few remaining teams, email Eden, E-D-E-N, at kidsportcalgary.ca. Uh, you don't have to have all eight there, but it's it's it, the vibes around the tables are very good, and you get some back and forth. Last year, the the local four hundred three table became the villains. It was a good time. <laughs> Get over, sir, like, have a few pops, feel good yes. about things, do raise some money for a good cause, and then the next day, park your ass on your couch. Yes, you take in game one, wall to wall. I think we'll probably have four series rolling on that Saturday, which will be an absolute blast. Uh, Eden at kidsportcalgary.ca for more. It's Friday, April 19th at the Gray Eagle Resort and Casino. Limited slots available. Get in there quick before they're gone. And yeah, like, I mean, come on. What? 
You don't need a team building thing with a tax write off. It's, it's a ton idea. of fun. That's a good idea. That's going to be not... wearing a sequin blazer. What are, you, what are you talking about? Here? And it's not just a one day thing. You can follow it for the whole playoffs. Get That's right. Everybody engaged. We get the outdoor. Uh, Sorry, I just we get the distracted. updates throughout the throughout the round by round from the folks at Kid Sport. They run the pool. It's good stuff. Uh, okay, let's get to a pin report. We do that for Village Honda, the defending champs of the playoff draft. They had a bunch of Vegas guys. There's no other way that happened, right? They had to have I don't Vegas think in Florida. They meant to do it, it just happened. They, well, you know what? You never know. Uh, they they also when they accidentally drafted a player, they said, "You know what? Our fault. We apologize." Money for kids sport. Good people. They earned it. That's karma, Rhett. It's classy. It's karma. Uh, Northwest Auto Mall online at villagehonda.com. The 2024 Honda Accord was redesigned last year and was chosen by Car and Driver Magazine as the number one midsize sedan. You know what? It's one of the most reliable vehicles on the road and better than ever. Superior ride quality, reliability, and impressive fuel economy thanks to the EXL Hybrid. Check out the 2024 Honda Accord at Village Honda. Let's get into the Pender Report. New Flames signing alert. It is that season. It's the uh, NCAA free agent frenzy. Uh, the Wranglers have added 25-year-old right shot center David Sillier on an ATO, which essentially means he's got a deal for next year, but he's going to play on a tryout for the remainder of this year before his deal for next year kicks in. That's his, the minutia of the AHL and college free agents. Just completed his senior year at Wisconsin. It's the third school he played at. He started, uh, did I say Cornell earlier? Uh, I, I read off to you because it was... It's wild. I, the, the transfer portal has really changed things. I don't know that that's something that necessarily hockey fans in Canada are talking about, but Clarkson to Mankato, which is Minnesota State for two years, and then graduates uh, from University of Wisconsin. Alternate captain of the Badgers. That's a big program, Rat. Well, you know why he signed Clarkson. Just say the word Clarkson. Who went to Clarkson? That's Connie. Yeah. So. Former Penticton V. I mean, I got a new favorite Wrangler now, Rat. And that's the second BCHL they've snapped up in college free agency. Because uh, Hank Horton, Sam Morton, who's been on a nice little run, he played in the BC League as well, I believe. Well, didn't that other kid, too, that we drafted last year play in Penticton, the third round? Yeah, Idar Suniev, who's at UMass and had a very nice uh, freshman season. They were in the tournament. They got uh, beaten in uh, the first round, but a uh, pretty good debut season for Suniev. And that was the third round they got in the Toffoli deal. Yeah. College hockey, big down here, I'll tell you. It's all, Is that right? Not, eh? not as big as the basketball for but still lots of coverage. Yeah, that, that is fair. Uh, and I, I, I'm looking at it. I think this weekend we have the, the Frozen Four, like the four left teams, and yeah. it is BC on one side of the bracket, BU on the other. If you had an all-Boston championship, that would be absolute bananas. I text Brendan Morrison yesterday to see what he thought of his chances. He said, who do they play, BC? I think they play – either way, one of the, they play one of the Boston teams. He's like, those boys are stacked. It's going to be a tough, tough matchup. I I haven't I didn't follow it super closely, but they were one two in the rankings for like a considerable portion of the season. Certainly down the stretch as we're, we started to see the field whittled down for the sixteen teams that make the tournament. So there it is, newcomer for the Wranglers, and uh, yeah, all right, we'll see how it goes. Inverse standings. Here's what we're looking at: uh, Calgary Flames. If the draft were tonight, they would be sitting in eighth position before the lottery balls start bouncing. That's not bad, Rhett, but it is. A tight little pack at the top of your screen. The Montreal Canadiens and Ottawa Senators, they are just a couple games under 500. Flames would love to reel them in. Uh, Seattle is exactly at 500. The Devils are exactly at 500. This pack of five is not separated by a ton. Uh, I, I would love to say it's imperative for the Flames not to win. That would be lying. They can beat the Oilers on Saturday, but please lose the other seven. That's, that's yeah, the other seven. Me. Win the other one. Seven. I don't want to be too greedy. Schedule looks like this for April. Eight games left. There are five on the road. Oh, they've already played Anaheim, of course. Uh, there are three left at home. There are four playoff teams, and there are four non-playoff teams. One back-to-back -back in there. That comes up next week. Thursday, Friday, they do the Tinseltown back-to-back. -back. Kings, then Ducks from downtown L.A. to Orange County. Uh, I imagine it's... Wolf tonight, given that it was Mark Stroman on Tuesday and he did not win. And frankly, if you want to alternate the rest of the way or just let, you know, whoever's feeling 
good. Keep going. That That's fine by me. I would think that given where Dustin Wolf is from, he'll probably get the start in San Jose, close to his hometown. Other than that, you probably split the back-to-backs. Let it rip. Where is he from? I want to say Tustin, California, or something like that. Or oh, I didn't even know that. It's not far for it's. It's kind of Greater Bay Area, if I'm correct. Hmm. Well, California, big hockey state. Who knew? Are these all in Mountain Time? Eight thirty, eight thirty, yes. eight. Yes, they are, Jack. And we are actively booking afterburner for next week. Understanding that uh, Boomer, um, that's bedtime. I think he <laughs> sleeps from eight till midnight, After- and then he stews from uh, midnight till. The show starts at 10 a.m. Especially after a big trip to Philly this weekend. There's no chance he's going to be able to stay up till 8.30. Yeah, no question. We do have a Boomer video, don't we? We'll save that. We'll yeah, save we the Boomer video for after the pin report. But uh, that's uh, the Flames Jets tonight. What do the Jets look like? Some familiar faces, to be sure. This was a group that just did not uh, look good at all the second half of last year. We forget they were in first in their division in the new year last year, and then had that death spiral. You could tell something was up in that room. Rick Bonus at the end of the year said some things. Players said things. Uh, Paul Maurice walked away from this group two years ago, I want to say. They move out Pierre-Luc Dubois. They buy out Wheeler, who uh, went to New York and is now done for the year with injury. And it's maybe not as talented a group, but certainly a much more cohesive a group and more of a team. They're also getting another Vesna caliber season from Connor Hellebuck. The familiar face is Monaghan in the middle on the second line. He's playing with Connor and Perfetti and Tyler Toffoli with the Calgary and Adam Lowry. Lots of Calgary connections on this team. Toffoli, Monaghan uh, played here. Lowry, Shifley, and Morrissey spend a lot of their off seasons here. I, I, I could root for this team, Rad. I got no problem with this crew. And Brennan Dillon, friend of the show, he's a beauty having a good year heading into free agency. I can get behind these guys for sure. Yeah. I can't cheer for many of else out west, so and I can't cheer for many teams out east. So I gotta Yeah. I will say this there's enough conditional picks to go around. You're gonna be able to cheer for a team in almost every series in the West that involves a Flames pick. Vegas win round one. Vancouver get to the conference final. Dallas get to the Stanley Cup final. Connie, just like Scrooge McDuck diving into a pool of picks. Well, no problem finding rooting interest there. Uh, Central Division looks like this for the Jets. They were winning this thing not long ago, but a six-game losing streak will do that to you. They're now nine back of Dallas, who's already punched their ticket and beat the Oilers 5 nothing last night. Game was kind of close, and then it kind of wasn't. Switched click. And Colorado will host Edmonton next. Um, I don't know. Oilers, uh, they flashed their record against the top... Five teams in the league. They, it is not impressive. The Flames have a better record against the top five teams in the league than the Oilers, and it's not really close. How surprising is that? It would be a little surprising, although when you think about it, the Oilers have that high-end talent that can beat a crappy team all yes. by itself. So. Yeah, you don't have to be good for 60 minutes if you've got Dreisaitl, McDavid, Hyman, Bouchard, and company. Yeah. And they did suck for, what, a month and a half out That's of the true. gate? That's true. We so, were all you know, very the, the, happy. Yeah. If they want to do that again for the next month and a half, I'd be okay with that too. In fact, it probably won't even last that long if, if they're not going to play well. Uh, we showed you the brawl from Madison Square Garden. This is a different angle. I think we have Jack where a fan actually got his camera out and you can see all five fights at the same time. Um, this is just what, like, how often do we see a line brawl? Like not even once a year these days, I'd say. That, no, not once a year. No, like it's... It's like an eclipse in Buffalo, Red. It's like people, if they knew this was happening, they would become the river. So you can, this is a fan from the second deck that clearly you can see all five I love the la- I love the last two fights. They're like, well, we might as well do it. All right, two, I guess. let's get at it. Like, I don't know that we've had a five on five. It probably has been one I'm not thinking of, but the last one I remember, we had an anniversary for a couple months ago. It was the Canucks and the Flames. It was Tortorella and Hartley, and that was like a decade ago. This is wild stuff. That is, and and this what well, we said it earlier. Rempe and McDermott is absolutely the title uh, fight, and it starts first, and everyone else is done already, and they go for another thirty here. Like it, I did, they are absolutely gassed by the end of this. I didn't realize that one guy from the Devils looked to get dinged there, down in the Rangers zone. 
Was that uh, Keandre Miller beating up uh, John Marino or somebody yeah, else? Yeah, I, I couldn't tell who it was. Yeah. And was Shesterka trying to make things happen? Too? I don't know what he He laid down his blocker or his, well, his trapper, I want to say. say. And he was going to. Is that an invite or like what is he doing there? But the one thing you don't see in the wide shot anywhere at any time is the New Jersey goaltender. I don't know if it was uh, Allen or Kakinen last night, but. There's no goalie inside at the New Jersey. And, you know, you have to leave, I think, in New York of the side tunnel. The backup yeah. sits in the corner. He might have just got the, went right to the gate. I'm out. See ya. Why the hell did they put John Marino out there? So the visiting team submits their lineup first. And you know John Marino because he's a former Penguin, I'm guessing. Correct. But he actually was drafted by the Oilers and didn't sign there. God bless his soul. Uh, <laughs> the... The visiting team essentially can dictate. So when they throw Curtis McDermott's name on that, then it's over to uh, the Rangers, and it's like, okay, well, let, no point waiting around. The coach has had a few words with each other too, I saw. Yes, yeah, the, it was heated, which uh, I also don't mind. Uh, yeah. Was it Laviolette and Travis Green? Green, yeah. And Laviolette, I think, was asked afterwards uh, – what was happening? He said, "Well, he just came over here and started screaming at me. I'm going to let you. I'll, I'm going to let you have it too if you're going to do that." But uh, I, this is intriguing. I I love where this rivalry is at because not unlike Battle of Alberta or Battle of the State of Florida, which has gone really good the last five years, or Boston Toronto or Toronto Montreal or Montreal Boston. Devils Rangers, when it's good, can be amazing. This has heightened it. And I already thought Islanders Rangers was pretty good of late as well. They played that outdoor game. Uh, well, don't forget, don't forget last year, Rangers are up by two and they're going right. to lose that series. No, you're right. It was 2 0, and the Devils came back, and it's like, okay, it's the Devils' time. Sorry, Rangers. Now the Devils are going to miss this year. So I, I love it. This is this is good for the sport. People hate these divisional playoffs sometimes, but it gives you the regional rivals in the yes. playoffs more often. Awesome. Uh, an Australian guy uh, tried to figure out how hockey was invented, Rhett, and he did a little skit. I think you'll enjoy this. Machete boots, Jason. What? A new game with machete boots, Jason. I see you're talking about ice skating. I love ice skating. It's so elegant. And ice rugby. Sorry, what? <laughs> you heard me, Jason. Really? Well, where do they play this game? In an ice cage. Cage? Yes, Jason. Like an icy coliseum. The coliseum, right. Like where people used to fight lions. Exactly that, Jason. Oh, and put a cute little soccer goal at each end. Okay. Make it be six players on each team, Jason. And five skaters and a goalie. Right, okay, and do they play with a ball? <laughs> no, Jason, what are you, stupid? They whack a urinal cake around with a stick. What? A urinal cake from, from the men's urinal? Yeah, <laughs> but make it black, Jason, so we can see it on the ice. Right, yeah, because that was the only problem with that. You said they whack it? Yeah, they whack it. With, with a stick? <laughs> Not a stick, Jason, an upside-down wizard star. <laughs> Of course, yeah, one of those. Uh, how long does this game go for? Because every single game in the world is either in halves or in quarters. Three periods, Jason. Three, <laughs> no, no, no. Jason, the skaters score a goal by whacking the urinal cake into the goal. Just call the black urinal cake something, please. Call it a f A what? A f what? No, what? Why? Jason, when people hit it, it can fly at 170 kilometers an hour. <laughs> and when it whizzes past you, you go, oh, f 170 kilometers. Well, okay, I'll just write down puck here, okay? Puck it is. Fine. Okay, sorry, and you said the goalie has to stop this? Yes, Jason. But make all the players and the goalie wear helmets and armor and a little eye shield. Oh, thank goodness, for protection from the puck. Yes, Jason, but not the fights. <laughs> not the what? The fights. I don't understand. Jason, Jason, Jason. There will be players on each team that aren't very skillful at the game at all. Oh, that <laughs> defeats the purpose of what... But what they lack in skills, they gain in being complete assholes. I don't think I follow. Jason, keep up. The assholes will pick fights with the other team. Please tell me there's a referee to stop them. Of course there's a referee, Jason. Phew. Who will stand there and judge the fight. Judge it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jason. <laughs> Jason, let's make... <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Let's make a full fight procedure. <laughs> I think you've had too much to drink. What? Gloves off! Accept the fight! Sir, uh, no. Write this down, Jason. All other players then must leave the ice. And then? The face punching begins. <laughs> 
but you're not allowed to take your helmet off, Jason. Well, if it falls off during the fight, we'll allow it. No, no, <laughs> sir, if you have a procedure, then it will always be part of the game. Exactly, Jason. But don't worry. After the fight, the referee will dish out a penalty. Finally, some sort of order to the game. They could probably get ejected for that. <laughs> no, Jason, it's not soccer. They just have to sit down for five minutes. Five minutes for punching an opponent in the face. How, wh when does this end? When one of them hits the ice. No, 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 not the fight. I meant the entire game. At the end of the three periods, whoever scored the most goals, Jason. What, are you stupid? Of course. Anything else? Yes, Jason. The icy Coliseum cage will be surrounded by panes of glass, which occasionally will be smashed into a million pieces. <laughs> no one can ever see the puck ever. Ooh. And front teeth. What about front teeth, sir? The players will have none. <laughs> no, sir, no. Ah, gotta go, Jason, I'm empty. <laughs> Call it ice hockey. <laughs> bye. Okay, There bye. you go, Rhett. Have you ever wondered about the origins of our favourite sport? Snow. Love the Aussies. Yeah, I got a little long there, but uh, funny for a while. Well, they, uh, and it, when you do break it down, you're like, oh, yeah. There's just a lot of allow this oh, intricacies God. that uh, there's no lot of other sports like it. No, uh, tonight, real... look at the slate. What do we got? Jack West saying you the slate. We got the slate. Slate. Ah, uh, banger and all. We can play that game today. Uh, right off the top, that's a banger. You got yep. two playoff bound clubs, Boston and Carolina. There. Uh, there's a couple of other interesting ones. I thought this Penguins Capitals games would be total nonsense here. All of a sudden, it's got playoff ramifications. <laughs> Jack, your Penguins are three points out. Yes, they are. Talk to me. Ovi, Sid, but now playoff implications. This is the game of the year. Everything lays on this game. I think the Penguins... Game of the year. They've turned it around. Oh, like boy. After Frank shit on them, you weren't here. Yeah, Frank just crushed them. on beat the Rangers pretty easily. And then the Devils game, they're down 3-1 going into the third. Ten minutes left. Crosby, two goals. Malkin, two goals. Yeah. Ricky Racks, game winner. <laughs> I'm calling it. They're gonna they're gonna win tonight. They gotta beat the Islanders, the Red Wings as well, and then I think they sneak in. If they win tonight, they're probably close to controlling their own destiny, which would be quite something. Uh, we'll maybe revisit that in the Betway Bats of the day later on. Other contests of note, I don't think St. Louis has got a chance, but it, if they're gonna, they better beat Nashville tonight. One of the two teams in the wild card who suddenly, after that 18 game undefeated streak, have dropped a pair. Anyway, a couple bangers in there, Rhett. Yeah, there's a few. That one's going to be good That on Pittsburgh. I hate getting on side with it because Jack loves it so, but. Yeah, I know. I, have to it's watch like, it. I don't, I didn't have any feelings towards the Steelers. Now I want them to fail just for the success of the show. Absolutely. Just to have an angry uh, Jack with firing offensive coordinators into the sun. Uh, tough day in Toronto yesterday. I don't know if you saw this. Oh, geez. Uh, the Jays, first team in modern major league history Ooh. since 1901. That's a while. Uh, to be no hit and then have a one hitter within the first seven games of the season. They've been one hit and no hit. Yikes. <sighs> Not the best start. But, but on the same day, uh, the Raptors did lose by 48. That's a franchise record. And then the Leafs lost North. to Tampa uh, for one. So Toronto. We the North. <laughs> wow, 48. That's a lot of points to lose by. That's got really throwing in a towel. S pumped. And they've lost 15 in a row, Jack. 14 in a row. They had a monster losing skid. Hard yeah, they horrible. They've just been awful. Injuries, wow. reloading, I don't know. I trust Masai, but this is a lost year. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our new favorite friend, the Kiwi in Calgary that plays blackjack. Let's go to Tim.Naki on Instagram. He's got another game. Now, Rhett, are you familiar here? I don't, you've been in and out this week. No clue about this. So person. this guy's wandering around Calgary. He's a Kiwi. He's basically posting up at the pub, going skiing, and every day he plays one hand of blackjack. How much he gambles is 10 cents for every follower on Instagram. Okay. It's 57. day 57, guy on a blackjack. I'm bidding 10 cents for every Instagram follower I've got. And what the fuck is going on? There is an extra 26,000 of you all aboard today. So for the 426,000 total of you in here, we have a $42,600 bet coming right up. All righty, day 57, $42,600 bet to do. It's all going on the nose. Also, we, go, we don't get to choose male or female dealer anymore. There's literally only one table where you can bet over 40,000 a hand. So this is what we've got. We see nine, 20, 
20 again! 20 again plays a queen. Thank God we didn't go side bits. Would have got absolutely toasted. It is an easy stand call. Just go low. Give her seven, eight, nine. Job done, please, honey. It's a push. It's a oh. bucket push. 57 days. It's the old cousin kiss of the Alabama special. Nothing gained. Nothing lost. So I will see you tomorrow. And we will be betting even more. <laughs> I love this guy. I'm going to send you the link. I'm addicted and I've reached out. I'm like, you got to come on the show. And I don't know what the delay is from him recording to putting it up. That's clearly not today in Calgary, but it absolutely could have been yesterday. So I expect tomorrow to see him with snowflakes in the background. Um, legend. There's pictures. Uh, he went on this Kiwi show and they're like, ah, mate, what are you doing up in Canada? And he's like, Oh, I'm being the biggest pile of shit ever. I just play one game of blackjack drink and go skiing. I'm like, what? A, this guy's my hero. I love the simple life. <laughs> oh, simple life. That's that's what's better than that. My God, spring skiing. I got a stupid security thing coming up on my computer. Get out of there. Uh, all right. So that's how we start off the, the nonsense. Beer league action from Vancouver. Yes. Why would we show a beer league game? Because idiots are in beer league. Here we go. There's a cast after the phase. And now we're... There's a line ball swing and oh. Good. Yes. Oh. 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 Holy shit. Oh. What? Look at the ref. He's just leaning on the boards. Yeah, yeah. I'll let these assholes sort it out. Wow. Now. Holy shit. What, what do you do in that situation? First of all, I would never play. No. If, it, I, it hap just... if I happen to be stuck out there and you're with some guys you kind of know and then the one idiot starts something and then this happens and you're down at the far the end. Stick. I'm like that guy there walking off, but I'm just going right into the room. Yeah, not, I, I, I don't yeah. know. I'm a, I feel like I'm a good teammate. But at These the time, stick swings are vicious. Yeah. At, once beer league starts, I am not sacrificing health and limbs and safety to stick up for my teammates in this event. Yeah, you're not allowed to set foot on uh, ice surfaces in league play after this, any of you. This, this is ridiculous. And I, I honestly think, call me like a whatever, but this has to be low level. Because oh, yeah. people that have played any level of hockey understand that that's the like, Look at that guy on the bench. Just like on the bench swinging your stick. That is such a hard no. Well, look at his jersey. His number's Tomahawk. not even real. Oh, and well, now Jeez. he's going to walk away. Crazy. Idiotic, even. And that also is a preview of what uh, downtown Vancouver will look like should the Canucks lose in round one. So not just be good. Stay be careful. Uh, set your travel plans accordingly. Now, if they win, it's going to be great. So good. They'll be uh, setting shit on fire and looting the oh, bay. But if they wicked. lose, swinging sticks at strangers. Yeah. Got it? Very stabby. Remember Little League World Series Big Al who liked to hit dingers? Oh, yeah. He's still around. Hi, my name's Alfred D'Elia. At home, they call me Big Al, and I hit dingers. Hi, my name's Alfred D'Elia. At home, they call me Big Al, and I hit dingers. <laughs> <laughs> Big Al's leading out. What a beauty. Hi, my name's Alfred D'Elia. At home, they call me Big Al, and I hit dingers. Hi, my oh. name's Alfred D'Elia. At home, they call me Big Al, and I hit dingers. Big Al's looking good. I'm proud of Big Al. Big Al smash. Still playing. Love it. Yes. Yes. Uh, this one is labeled CTESPN, which means oh, there's no. probably a head injury here. Let's have a look. Where are we? What are we? Okay, we're in Pennsylvania. <laughs> And I don't know what this machine is, Brett. Um, maybe that's how you separate animals in a pasture. And it's at full speed here, and he's going to race it around. And oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> look! Yeah, shock. that's a good freeze frame there. <laughs> oh dear, that's a quick recoil of the head off that pole. <laughs> Donk. Uh, now you love AI. I uh, don't yes. need school. You just need AI, right? Got it all. I know everything. Somebody asked AI to play out the. Um, who are these? Jake fake, Paul and Mike fake Tyson. Fake tough guys sell energy drinks. Yeah. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul got a fight come up. So this is the AI sim. Here we go. It kind of looks like Jake Paul. Yeah. 
Now, is his brother's Logan. He's in the WWE now. Yeah, these guys are shameless self-promoters. And there's that Mike looking young there. It looks like young Mike Tyson, right? If it's young Mike, this thing's over. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that guy. If it's 50-something-year-old Mike, I think you might have a chance, but who's to say? So we'll see how long this one goes here. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Good night. That's what we all want to see happen, right? Yes, please. Right? Please, Mike. Please. Uh, we love ladders on the Pinder Report. Sure and we also love bouncy castles and we love parties. Luckily, this one clip has it all. Is that Skrillex? Amazing. And this guy's hamming it up. Look, he's like, check this out. Wee! Oh, no. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You ham it up on the top of a two story ladder. That's what you get. Had to yeah. try to swing it and be the cool guy, huh? You asked for it, buddy. Dumbass. Yes. Um, we found you that guy up in the Northern Territory in Australia that has the crocodile rescue. Mm -hmm. Matt, I want to say. And we what found you a gal in Florida. She is all about uh, crazy wildlife as well. It's I like look. her better already. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf. Now I give you Cayman in a Cave. While exploring a waterfall, we came across a small cave off to the oh, side, and when right. we looked that in it, we found a small caiman. Oh, cute! A little caiman. Pretty fat, and it appears he has been eating the bats in the cave. Caiman's eating the bats. Awesome. Circle of life, Fred. Yeah. She also likes playing with the spiders and such. Um, I know someone that I live with that would never be. Well, they would be dead if they were in that cave because they would die of just just fainting, and then yeah. the caiman would eat you. What about oh. the spider on them, though? No, yeah, here we go. That, that's hell for the shoveler, right there. She would. This is the level she would be eliminated on. Uh, what was that old Joe Rogan show? Fear Factor. Factor, yeah. She wouldn't go anywhere near that. That's uh, that would be hell for her. Yeah. Now where is it? Oh, it's on your <laughs> neck. Like Perfect. Neck. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you should get it off your neck. That is a good place to have it off your neck, indeed. Finally, there was a bit of a dust up at the old community pool, and one guy went full Spider Man mode and just beat the tar out of everyone. This is good stuff. He won't shake his hand. We got a bit of a kerfuffle here, Rhett. I don't know. Oh, there's one. Oh, my God. There's another. Oh, my God. 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 Oh my God! Oh my God! There's the people coming in to help, and others standing back. They're like, one oh. against seven. I only thought this oh was in the movies, God. right? Where you, oh my God. a guy could beat up like seven dudes. You're like, okay, well now they got. Well, maybe not. Oh Jeez. my God! <laughs> oh my God! I guess if you get into that spot, you better keep punching. <laughs> Don't stop swinging. It's gonna hit somebody when you're surrounded like that. Just keep swinging, you'll hit someone. Like a young Rat Warner at a Saskatoon bar. Beautiful stuff. Big win. Now I could strut around like a big peacock. Is that you actually at the hotel in Florida, or was that uh, Young Rhett in uh, Miami? Wonder. Well, I feel cool. like your shoulders now. I wouldn't advise that behavior for you. No. I got pushed yesterday by my kid, and I nearly fainted. <sighs> weak. Very weak. Not unlike Matt Rempe. You understood the risks. You got it all. You made the trade. I'll probably do it again. Bad shoulders for NHL stardom. Absolutely. I'd do the same thing, buddy. That is your Pinder Report for Village Honda. The Honda Civic continues to lead the way in value, reliability, and performance. The 2024 Civic received a 10 out of 10 in car and driver's comprehensive vehicle testing in the Civic Type R and SI. were ranked one and two, respectively, in the sport compact category. Civic! Check it out at Village Honda in the Northwest Auto Mall and at villagehonda.com. What do we got teed up today? We still got to do a little odd, uh, what's on the menu and, uh, and and the bet way, but I need to know what Florida holds for you today. I think probably going to hit the ocean just just because you got to do it. Yeah, uh, there's some fancy go kart Grand Prix kind of racing. Oh, thing are thinking of doing, and then maybe my kid's favorite restaurant on the intercoastal. We're going to go to Shooters and sit on the patio and 
watch the boats go by. Shooters. Now that sounds like an adult place, but in Florida, are they allowed kids to drink or what do they do? Lots of kids. Everyone's going to have a shot. We went to Hooters already. So now we're going to upgrade. We're going to go. <laughs> it's the cultural experience of a lifetime. We could have taken you to Rome to see the Coliseum, but we went to Florida to see Hooters. Yeah, my youngest kid's like, what's Hooters, Dad? Oh, well, son. Keep your eyes peeled, son. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check eyes it out. Eyes down! I don't eyes know. Down, I don't know. I don't know, son. Let's go check it out. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I have questions as well. Let's explore. Yeah. The original Hooters, I think, is in Clearwater, Florida, Yeah, which is only about a 10-minute cab ride from Dunedin, where I was fortunate enough to cover spring training for a few years. And they still talk about David Wells and spring training is very easy. You get in early, you get your work in, get a sweat. You, maybe you throw, maybe you don't. If you play, it's two or three innings. You're gone. They would have a huge pitcher filled with ice and beers ready for David Wells at noon every day at that Hooters. There you go, Mr. Wells. Lovely to see you. I believe that might've been the season. He threw a no hitter while hung over. Athlete. One of us. One <laughs> of us. One of us. Oh, you're an athlete. You can't go to work hungover. Not David Wells. Hero. Uh, speaking of those go-karts, I wonder if that go-kart place is a part of the Cal Tire program they've got going now. Whether you're an owner-operator, I have a small fleet of trucks. Cal Pro Plus is the dedicated tire program just for you. It's a free program that provides access to exclusive deals and savings, price match guarantee, flexible financing options, and preferred pricing on everything you drive, including family vehicles. Also, its dedicated member support is on hand to answer questions and recommend and source tires for you, the best tires for you, for your budget, and whatever you need for your fleet and or other vehicles across their network of over 260 plus stores. They're there to help with your tire, with their tire program. So you can focus on the road ahead. Sign up for free at calproplus.com. I hope they're running the right tires at this go-kart place. You don't want people messing around with the wrong tires, wrong compound. What are you, what are you doing? If I'm not performing, I'll get my tires changed out right away. I have a good pit stop. Do they do that? They do a lot of pits down in Florida, <laughs> <laughs> sir. You've got two minutes. I'm not yeah. changing your tires. Good call one. But if you uh, are more serious and less go-karty and more real life, you got a fleet, make sure to check in on Cal Tire Cal Pro Plus. Again, free program that will save you money. That's a win for everyone. Love it. Uh, DoorDash, let's get to it. What is on the menu for tonight? Rhett, we will ask you for food, but I will tell you what's on the sporting menu. But first a reminder, if you don't have DoorDash, go get it. Your first order, use the promo code NATION25 and you will be saving 25% on your first order and free delivery. Also, DoorDash isn't just restaurants. It's groceries, pharmacies, flower stores, and anything else you can dream up right to your door. Why would you go to the hassle of getting around when it can get delivered right to you? DoorDash and promo code NATION25 for that discount on your first order, not to mention the free delivery. Uh, you tell me what's on your menu tonight. Well... Going to that restaurant, we're going to have to have some sushi because that's what they love. What I was going to say is that you screwed me up yesterday. Uh, what was you know what was going on in Miami last night? Did the Panthers play last night? That soccer player. Oh, was Messi going? There were busfuls of people, and we're like, "What's this all about?" And I'm like, it "Must be a soccer game." Oh my god! And I didn't even go. One of did my, he play? Because I heard he's been. I don't uh, think he played. Picking a spot. He did or didn't? I don't think he did. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. But I was. Well, I would felt bad. First, I was upset. I'm like, yeah. Oh, we could have. Tender. How could you? What are we doing? Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Sidetrack. No, you're good. Uh, so can you order DoorDash to the beach there? That'd be a move, wouldn't it? I, if I could, I would order Las Spadas, and I should look it up because these subs are like this big. There's massive and they're like two feet. So good. And I uh, it's just it's too far to walk. But if I could door dash it, I might look it up right now. Love it. Okay. That's the move for you. Uh if you do end up needing a little shade or the sun goes down, you want some sports. Boston, Carolina, five o'clock puck drop. Penguins and Capitals. Jack's gonna be living and dying on every shift. Ovi and Sid with a playoff spot, very much swinging in the balance. That's a five o'clock start. And St. Louis, Nashville at Six. The Toronto Blue Jays, I'm guaranteeing no loss today. 
they're off. They start a four game set in the Bronx tomorrow. I don't like how this is going. They're one game under 500. I know it's been miserable, but uh, they're one game under 500. They really are just not that. Game the ball. Anyway. <sighs> It's a tough, tough March. They're missing some players. It uh, if they can some April, I should say, if they can get through April, near five hundred, I'm calling it a win. I, I right. don't know that that's going to happen though. It was a miserable off season. Sorry, I'm I'm distracted by this. The sub, tell me more. So, how did you find out about them? Are they everywhere in Florida? Is there just one? I, yeah, when I first got down here, I was looking for a place to live, and the realtor I was using goes, "You got to try these subs." I had mm. one, and Terry Karkner and I were addicted to it. Mm. After that, we lived together, and we would go twice, three times a week. They were phenomenal. Las yes. Spadas hoagies. Hoagie, yeah. yeah. So are they so big that you would cut them sideways and eat like a cross section rather than long wise? Uh, sense? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's basically like a party sub sized oh, hoagie. I love it. They're good. Okay. Uh, Nation 25 is that promo code for DoorDash. Download the app. Your first order, you're going to get save 25% and get free delivery. Canada only. You can find out more when you uh, head over to DoorDash. What a deal. Go get it. Get, get it. Get, get it. Get, get it. We have a special guest today we'll get to later. Calvary FC. I know it's snowing. We are not far from soccer season. Next week, they're going to start uh, their season against Stink and Forge. That means home games are coming up closer to the end of the month. There's also another tournament they're in, the Canadian Championship, that could see them line up against an MLS side, so stay tuned for that. But right now, we go to our Betway Bets. Betway! Grab the app, go get it on your phone, bet the responsible way with Betway. I am focusing in on the Jets and the Flames tonight. You know what happens when former Flames play the Flames, Rhett. We don't have to go through this. Uh, Sean Monahan scored twice when his uh, first game with the Jets against Calgary. He's got him again tonight. I'm going to jump on the plus 225 anytime goal. If you really want to get saucy, I think you're looking over 1,000. Uh, plus 1,000 for the first goal of the game for Monaghan. Whatever you want to do there, I'm just going to jump on a Monaghan goal. Maybe you want to put Toffoli in there. Mm, up to you. Monaghan's playing with Connor and Perfetti. So there's some offensive weaponry around him. They're going to load him in the O-zone. And, of course, power play monster, as always. I also like Winnipeg minus one and a half. Sorry, Flames. It's just it's where you're you at. two and a half NHL defensemen right now. That's where you're at is what it is, and you're going to get a better player if you lose tonight. I'm okay with Winnipeg minus one and a half. Jack, tell us what you got for Pittsburgh. You got to be putting some dough down on El Penguino. I don't have a graphic, but I found a very nice pre-built bet here. Okay. Penguins to win. Yep. Crosby to score. Ovi to score. So nice, fun <laughs> game. The stars show up. They both get the goals. Penguins wow. win. Everyone goes home happy. What's the total number on that guy? Plus 1,000. Oh, 10 to 1, Jackie. Big game. I love it. Oh, man. Plus 1,000. I might have to dance on that. That's a pre-built? I like that. That's a pre-built. I'm going to go find that. Hey, you put $1 down, you have 10. Put $10 down, you have 100. Hoagies for a week. What an idea. That is Batway. Now, right now, here's the thing with Batway. They're running a promo. If you've been thinking, hey, I, you know, I've been thinking about doing the Batway thing. I hear you guys talking about it. Now's the time, fellas. Zap that QR code, uh, QR code, and you will be eligible to claim the bonus that is win your first bet, even if you lose your first bet. Up to $200. If your first bet does not win, they're going to give you that money back anyway. No minimum bet required and a maximum of 200 returns. So let's say you put 200 on something to happen tonight. If it don't work, don't worry. You're getting it back anyway as part of their bonus. Uh, open a new account with Betway through that QR code, and you are el eligible for that bonus. Go get it. Have some fun. Spice things up with Betway, our gaming partner. Jets and Flames at 6 o'clock start tonight. It is one of eight games remaining on the schedule, Rhett. And it is a one-game road trip before the Calgary Flames return home for the Edmonton Oilers on Saturday. It is the final battle of Alberta. We've got the In the Dome guys doing post-game on Saturday. Tonight, it will be Ryan Pike and Kent Wilson. And if uh, I was on the Calgary Flames, I would say, you know what, fellas, after tonight, let's not stay in Winnipeg. Why don't we catch a flight back to Calgary so I can hit my Douglas mattress? I don't need another night in the hotel. Winnipeg, not the sexiest of venues. Let's get some sleep before the big Oilers game. Uh, the thing about the Douglas mattress, right? You don't need to drive around 
town test drive and all these things. They'll deliver it right to your door. And there is not a better chance to test a product than what they've got going on is a 365 night trial. What? That's right. You've That's got a, a year. Time. You've got a year to try your Douglas mattress. Uh, trust me, it, it took Boomer and I just one sleep to say, yep, this is good. Now we need to Google where we put old mattresses because uh, this is this is the new king in town. It was named Canada's Best Mattress by Canadian Living, loved by more than 200,000 Canadians, over 10,000 five-star reviews. Douglas Mattress, and here's the thing. Great, great mattresses made here in Calgary. Quick, short uh, delivery because it's here in Calgary. High quality. We love it. Even better, if you order now, every mattress will come with a free comfort sleep bundle. That's two memory foam pillows, pillow protectors, cotton sheet set, a, lux a luxurious one at that, and a mattress protector. That's $650 value. Yours for free when you order your Douglas mattress now at douglas.ca slash Flames Nation. That's douglas.ca slash Flames Nation. Calgary made, right? Get out of Winnipeg. Get back on your Douglas, fellas. Well, don't sleep on the bed I've been sleeping on because my back is killing me. Yeah, see? When you finally get your shit together and move back to Calgary, you will have that Douglas mattress waiting for you. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. Until then, enjoy the sun. Uh, have fun on the beaches. We've got a guest wheeling into studio now, and uh, we have to say hello to Sergio Camargo of Cavalry FC. Sergio, thanks for being here, man. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, 99 games in Cavalry Silks. This is uh, an exciting milestone coming up. I don't know that uh, people are, are aware that uh, this is now year six of the CPL. We kind of lost a season and a half with COVID, but yep. take us back to your, your first game in Calgary representing Cavalry FC. Ooh, first game was actually a lot like it is outside right now. <laughs> That's right. Against, uh, against York. We weren't expecting it, but the second half there was, uh, there was a snowfall. And we came out 2-1 victors, and I'll always remember that moment. I think that was the moment that I realized Calgary has something in terms of a fan base and, yeah. and an interest in soccer. So that's kind of where my, I guess, love started for the, for the city. Amazing. Uh, five seasons in the books for Calgary FC. Uh, in the recent, uh, I guess, couple months, you got to have a pair of games against an MLS side, and I think a pretty good one in Orlando City, who were second in the table last year in MLS. That was CONCACAF champions play. What was that experience like? And what does that do for this group heading into a month and change later, a Canadian championship tournament and your regular season? The experience was awesome. Um, Orlando were amazing hosts and just fierce competitors. These yeah. guys really showed us what it means to fight for every inch of the ball, yeah. um, every inch of space. And you could just see, we, we could feel at times that we were playing with them and that gave us confidence. Yeah. And you could also see that what they did differently that got them to the MLS and, and yeah. got them to that next level. And I think those two games that we had, one in Victoria, sadly, and then one in, on, in yeah. Orlando, gave us just so much confidence that we could bring that level of, of competitiveness to whatever game we play in the CPL or in, or in uh Canada Cup. Yep. Um, and I, I think we're going to be so much better off for it. Watching those two games, it was inspiring in some ways to see you hanging with Orlando. And then at the same time, it was like when they got a chance, they were ruthless. And it, that seemed to me to be like, okay, now their season problem, their training got started a little sooner than you guys, but they just didn't mess around. When there was a play to be made, they made it. I was quite impressed with the, with their finishing. Exactly. There just there was no hesitancy. Yeah. They they knew what they wanted to do and they did it within five seconds. Yeah. Uh, and, and and that's the type of reps that we need uh, to to raise the level of the CPL. So you were in MLS before coming to Calgary FC. You were in the Toronto FC organization. Wh how have you seen MLS grow in five years? And can, I guess similarly, what have you seen from the growth from the CPL in five years? This being your number six, you're about to begin. A, a bit different because when I started following the MLS, they were already in a stage that we're we're still not at. Yeah. Uh, and, and in the last five years, they've begun. Well, not really five five years. Whenever Beckham started coming, that's yeah. when they become LA Galaxy. Yeah, shooting up sky skywards. Uh, in, in in amount of talent, amount of investment that they put into their players. Mm -hmm. Um, we're seeing that here little by little. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do think we're miles ahead of where the MLS was six years into into their season sure. so yeah. I, I think they started in the 90s yeah and i and i think we are uh the same if not better 
Yeah, and, and look, it's 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 very different things. Everyone says, "Oh, does Calvary have a chance to go to MLS league?" Okay, MLS <laughs> is USA's <laughs> tier one league, way too and much. the CPL <laughs> is Canada's tier one league. Yeah. And there's three exceptions to the rule. Yeah, there are MLS franchises in Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. Now you got the chance to play Orlando in the uh, Concacaf Champions League, which was, I think, a great experience, as you noted, despite the results. But you also have a stab at some MLS clubs potentially as soon as early May. Uh, the regular season will start next weekend, next Saturday in Hamilton against Stinkin' Forge, your bitter rivals. Right back to it. And then uh, Atletico on the road the following week, who, who apparently have loaded up, had a really good offseason yeah. uh, in Ottawa. And then you get into your Canadian Championship Tournament where you will face second-year club Vancouver FC. Should you get past them, and that is, shouldn't be, I, I guess, an assumption, you would then line up for another MLS contest with the Whitecaps being in the Canadian Championship bracket. Would that not be fun? Because I know year one, you talked about the snow falling first game ever. There was also an historic victory over the Whitecaps in a two-leg matchup where you guys, I thought, just really sold the vision of the CPL in the sense that, like, yes, you can hang with these other leagues. This is not a joke. We're here to play. Uh, you, you embarrassed an MLS club because you guys outclassed them, I thought, in about 180 minutes. Yeah. Uh, that's got to be an exciting carrot. But again, we can't look past the earlier opponents in the tournament. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you you set it up perfectly and you got me excited for this next Good. month. Of yeah. soccer. But like that, that goes to show like how much, how far we've come where there's no easy game in the, in the near future Yeah. Uh, for, for our club. We get Forge, Ottawa, who are, like you said, stacked and Vancouver who have made a bunch of different signings this season that you, you, you could say they are contenders now for, for a playoff spot. Mm. Um, but this is what we want. We want every game to be hard. Every, every we want to be able to deserve the championship instead of like the first year where it was just forging us. Uh, yeah. You guys of, are kind, way kind ahead early. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, but like you said, we can't look past Vancouver. It would be incredible to be able to face the white caps, um, at, in a home and away. And I think we're coming off a, a confident, uh, camp that we just had in Mexico that yeah. gave us even, even more, uh, feeling of, of possibility of success that, that, that this year, um, because we haven't turned over much. Yeah, um, it's true. You return a lot of your core. Yeah, we, we have a we have a strong core from last year, and the pieces that we've brought in have just made us stronger. Exciting stuff. Uh, on the road to start, Canadian Championship. Then uh, you, you start uh, the home side of the regular season on the 28th, but the, the, there's lots in there, and you talk about it. I mean, Pacific's won the league. Atletico might be the most improved club. Forge is always uh, in there for some sort of hardware. Mm -hmm. And then a Canadian tournament, your first five, six matches could be huge. Looking forward to seeing everyone out there at Echo Field. Uh, what, what was your experience with the city of Calgary before you came here, I guess, almost six years ago? There was no experience. What what, it, what was what was the <laughs> oh Calgary like? We were people on horses with cowboy hats. Like, what were you thinking Man, about I'm the from West? Toronto? I exactly. Like there was never a thought in my mind about Calgary. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. I, in besides the Flames being a hockey organization yeah. out in the West that I had never been to. Yeah. I never once thought about Calgary, and I hate to say it, but now I tell all my friends like, you guys got to come out here, man. Like it is <laughs> insane. I got. I got a bunch of buddies buying real estate here because they want to come over and because yeah. they're getting sick of Toronto. And I'm like, yeah, you guys are making the right move. It, it's an amazing city. Another conversion. I'm, I'm Toronto to here. Calgary. Yeah. <laughs> Stampede doesn't hurt either. <laughs> That's right. Uh, hey, have a great season. Thanks for coming in. And Thank a huge you, congratulations. 100 games you're going to hit here uh mid-month that's that's impressive i don't know when you set foot out here to this wild west that you you thought you'd, six years later you'd be hitting triple digits in games yeah played. yeah it, it wasn't always a, a sure thing there's there's been a lot of setbacks but sh you think i should retire and just stay as mr 99 <laughs> hell no 99 is <laughs> for hockey you you go make a bigger one for soccer <laughs> yeah, man that's true, All that's right. true. awesome man thanks for being here sergio of course thank you there is a look at the first half of the CPL schedule from this month. Yes, the snowy month of April. Lol! All the way through till uh, July. There will be obviously more beyond that, but uh, there it is. That's what you need to know. Home opener coming up. Couple on the road to start. Canadian Championship not far away. And again, potentially the Whitecaps at Atco Field if they can get past, uh, past Vancouver FC. Okay, final note before we close the show, friends. Everywhere we go, in the DMs, where do I get a barn burner hoodie? How do I get a barn burner t-shirt? I like those Flames Nation hats. Uh, here's your deal. 
nationgear.ca merch madness not only do we have these things in stock baby but it's 20 percent off they're doing a end of regular season blowout the merch madness sale so 20 percent off hoodies 20 percent off flames asian hats 20 percent off barn burner t-shirts all the gear 20 percent off you gotta love it on top of that if you're gonna load up maybe someone's got a birthday coming up you want to get christmas shopping for dad done way early you incredibly organized human orders of 200 or more shipping covered bam nationgear.ca there's also the hockey fights gear if you've got uh, fans of other teams in your inner circle leafs nation canucks army uh oilers name yeah anyway you get the idea nationgear.ca the deal is good until sunday that is the 7th of april that is days you've got to get a deal on your barn burner flames nation gear do it Tomorrow on the show, Darren Dreger, our NHL insider, and we'll react to the Flames and the Jets. Kent and Pike have you tonight for Afterburner.